Welcome to another episode of Tipsy Chef. Today I'm going to do um, a summer seafood stew. But first we got to do garlic bread. This is not homemade garlic bread. This is a frozen garlic bread that I got at the local market. So we need to put that in the oven first. Bake that 450, about 8 to 10 minutes. And that's how fast this dish is because by the time this gets done, our dish will be ready. Mm. So we're going to put this in the oven. It's already set and ready to go at 450. And then we get started. I'm going to turn on my wok. We're going to use our wok today. Turn it on high, get that heated up. And our ingredients list is here. We got some sliced green peppers, orange peppers, red peppers. I got some shallots that I'm going to slice that I'm going to use. Some garlic. Bumblebee clam juice. And of course, grace, all purpose seasoning. I got some tomatoes. This is the tomatoes I got that was in the can. Diced tomatoes that I put in the strainer and they're drained because I may use the juice. This is going to be in a tomato broth. Um, tomato broth. And I got about a, um, a cup of white wine, some oil that I'm going to use to saute. And so let's get started. So, first thing we're going to do is put some oil in the pan. I'll show you the seafood in, in a minute. I bought some frozen seafood, and this is called summer seafood stew because um, throughout the season you may not be able to get fresh seafood where you are, and so sometimes you need to substitute with frozen seafood. So I've never tried this brand, but um, a lot of people have told me this brand, this seafood brand that I, I got, they say, yeah, it's pretty good. So we're going to do that today and try that today, but again, not again, not but again, but as long as you impart good flavor and you got good technique and stuff like that, anything going to taste good. You can put a, a flip-flop in here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be delicious. And we're going to saute this up. Again, I'm using my wok. It's going to add nice flavor. As you see, I julienned it. I'm going to get my pepper mix like I usually do, a little giant. I have some whole peppers. It came in uh, a four pack, green, red, yellow, and orange, and I just sliced it up at home because they just didn't have the pepper mix that I usually get at Little Giant, but you do what you can, and when you go to the grocery store, you do what you do. Oh, put that in there. Yeah. I'll take that, and I still got my, I'm adjusting the temperature between medium, medium high. I want to keep that sizzle going. I don't want to necessarily brown it or anything. I want to keep it tender crisp. So, get that flavor out. And we're going to do this in two parts, two stages actually. So, that's the first stage. While that's cooking, that's going. I got some shallots. And usually I use onion or green onion or you can use um, leeks. But I got some shallots. This was on sale at the Little Giant. I bought a, a big old package at my Little Giant. So they like small red onions? Well, um, <coughs> they have like an onion, a mild onion and garlic flavor, a mix between onion and garlic flavor, if you will. So this will go great. I'm going to saute this with that. So it works like an onion, you know. Off the yeah, you you slice it, you peel it, and then you cut it up. Actually, I'm not going to dice it up because you see how big, you know, the vegetables are a nice size. So I'm just going to slice it like this. And add that to the to the pan, oh, to the wok. Nice, mm -hmm. And again, it's not harsh. You know, onion or garlic is, is a mild. You know, you don't want you don't want either one component of you don't want either one component of your dish to take over the dish. True. So you know, if it says garlic, I mean, uh, like a garlic seafood or garlic chicken, it's just like oh, it's just all garlic. <laughs> and I don't taste the chicken. Right. And it's just enhancing it. So that's what we got here. That's what I'm trying to do here. And my culinary background tells me this is going to work well. I believe it. So we can throw this up a little bit more because it's getting a little bit brown. That's fine. That's still okay. Still okay. 
Just turn the fire down. Or then turn it on. To do it. Get this cap up real fast. Look at that. That would smell good for real. Mm -hmm. Add that to this. That little brown is going to add flavor. Yeah. So I'm going to come back here where I have. I bought this as my little giant, a seafood mix. So it got mussels, it got um, shrimp, it got calamari. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to add that. And saute this off. We're going to add a little bit more oil. It's a quick saute because this, this is already cooked again. But again, you want to saute it off. Get some flavor, so we add just a little bit more of one around the pan. Turn the fire up. Remember, I turn it down. Oh, fire is going. Turn this off and up and saute it. Look, that looks good. Um, <laughs> I tell you guys all the time, I always surprise myself. <laughs> but that looks good already. We got the fire on high. And because this was frozen, that's the inherent when you, free, you freeze meat or even vegetables, a lot of liquid comes out. But that's concentrated flavor. As you can see, it already has color to it. So we're going to let this sit for a minute. We're going to let this sit for a minute. I'm going to saute that. Put in the colander to drain out. It had a lot of liquid. The liquid um, is fine, it tastes fine or whatever, but I don't need all that liquid. I'm going to fortify it with some flavorful liquid over here. So here I got my wok heated up nice and hot. Another round of pan with the oil. Yeah, look how smart. <laughs> Turn this down just a tiny bit. Again, all this goes fast. I got my garlic that I'm going in with. So I'll take this really fast. Got my shallots, some more shallots, another half a shallot, and again, this is turning brown, turning brown real fast. As long as we don't get it too dark, we can put it up on the side of the water so we don't get the, the big heat. Then we're going to deglaze it with some white wine. Oh yeah. That was a cup of white wine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. A cup of white wine. Let this come up. We're going to let this reduce. Cook out the alcohol. Let it reduce a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Then we're going to add some clam juice. Oh, yeah. It smells good, doesn't it? Oh, it don't smell good. Yeah, it smells good. <laughs> yeah. I've just never seen this before. I've never seen cooking with wine. Oh, yeah. That smell of the wine once it comes to... Oh, I smell the alco alcohol. Alcohol, wow. that's, that's, what's, that's what's going up in the vapors. Yeah. Alcohol. First time for everything. And here we go. I also bought at the local store frozen clams and mussels. I have never used these before, but... Look how juicy that mussel is. And that clam. Mm, really juicy. So what we're going to do is, they've already been steamed over. They've already been cooked. But we're going to add flavor. So that garlic, shallot, white wine mixture. I'm going to put these in here. A whole lot. All in the pan. Put a little bit of the tomato sprinkled on top that I drained. Like I said, because I have a lot of liquid already with the clams and the white wine, I don't need sprinkle this over top. It's going to be our broth. It's going to cook down just a little bit. You know, because it's already cooked, I don't need to cook it that long, but I'm just adding flavor. I'm going to sprinkle some parsley. Ooh, looking good already. I'm going to go back to my Grace all-purpose seasoning and do a tablespoon of that over the top. We don't want to take too much away 
It's still on high? Yep, still on high. We don't want to take too much away from the seafood flavor, so you don't need a lot. I think a tablespoon would be great. Ooh. Roll them up and sink down in, and we're going to cover it. Got my wok cover. Put it on high. Let it steam, i say about three minutes. And then I'm going to reintroduce the seafood mix and stir it up. And we're going to have ourselves a seafood stew. You see my drink is a different color because I'm drinking a cocktail today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wine, it's a cocktail. <laughs> so we'll be back with the finish. With, like I said, with the finish, mm -hmm. finished product, we'll be right back. All right. All right, this is our finished dish. Um, I steamed the mussels and the clams, and then I added the seafood medley that I had and just such, um, stir that together. I sprinkled some parsley on top, and here we go. This is our finished dish right here. Let me try it. So I made that, that garlic bread, remember, that was in the oven. Over here, you dip this in the broth if you like. And get yourself a mussel, a clam, and put that on top of your garlic bread with the, with the little juices or whatever, and you're good to go. Excuse me. One against you, I have to tell you all the time. Mm. I surprise myself sometimes. It's really good. Again, a quick weeknight meal. A quick beautiful weekend meal. A special date night meal with your husband or wife or whatever. Look at look how beautiful that is. And the seafood, the frozen seafood is good, is delicious and fresh. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I'm still waiting for you guys' comments. Maybe you guys to let me know what you like me to cook on Tipsy Chef. But again, I'll see you next time.